Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey, if you enjoy the video, consider clicking like, subscribe, bell notification, and the join button. Uh, becoming a channel member is only $4.99 a month. It really, really helps me out, and you get a bunch of perks like these badges for how long you've been a member for. Uh, you get these emojis for my live stream chats, and you get access to my videos when I upload them instead of when I release them. So thanks so much, and enjoy the video. Hey everyone, uh, this is Blissey, and I'm going to be doing a video on how to get a shiny starter in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green without any cheating device or anything like that. The one prerequisite is that you have to have calibrated your most common initial seeds in Fire Red and Leaf Green um, using either like a Game Corner Pokemon or a stationary like Mewtwo or the Legendary Birds. Um, I have a video on it if you're interested in that, so go ahead and watch that. So, with that out of the way, um, out of game you're going to need a few tools. You're going to need a Pokefinder. Um, you're going to need uh, your timer application of choice. I've recently made the switch to Flow Timer, which is nowhere near as usually user friendly as Eon Timer, uh, which is just this one here. Um, you can use Eon Timer if you'd like. It's not the biggest deal to use Eon Timer. Um, I find Flow Timer is more precise, but it's, it's so much less user friendly uh, that if you're not interested in it, just use uh, Eon Timer. Uh, and this will be assuming you know a little bit about. Um, a little bit about Gen 3 RNG. Um, and I'll cover some basics for Flow Timer for what I'm doing personally here uh, on how to do the calculations and whatnot, but it might seem confusing at first. So if you just want to stick to Eon Timer like your usual Gen 3 RNG stuff, my other Fire Red and Leaf Green videos, go right ahead, okay? Now, before the actual video starts, uh, one more time, um, I want to do a shout out to a bunch of different people who. Um, have helped with this starter RNG uh, video from my Discord, so I want to shout out Papa Hefe for um, doing a bunch of more specific frame research, I'd say. Um, obvious shout out to Admiral Fish, because he did obviously plenty of help finding all of this info, um, and developed Pokefinder, obviously. Um, and then I also want to shout out uh, Aldero05, also helped out, um, discovered the method the same time as me and Hefe really figured it out, but um, his meth his while it was basically the same methodology, he keyed us onto a few points um, with fire and leaf green RNG that we hadn't previously known. And then lastly, uh, Pokemon Trainer Choppy, where this method I would say is highly derivative of that. Uh, his Emerald uh, TID RNG video. Okay. So with all those thanks out of the way, let's get into the video. So um, to get the shiny starter, you're obviously going to have to start a new game. You don't actually have to do the normal timing intro thing for Fire and Leaf Green, um, so it's not actually a big deal. So like normally you'd have to hit your initial seed or whatever, you don't have to do that for the intro portion. So just play through the intro at your normal casual pace, um, up until the naming screen. Um, also, um, make sure the text speed is set to fast before the game is uh, uh, loaded or whatever. Oops. Oh no. I've, re I've soiled it. Let me get back to that screen. I want to be a girl. Okay, like I said, I just want to be a girl. There's no, it's just preference basically. Um, so, at the naming screen, don't hit OK just yet. Okay, so at the naming screen is when your initial seed is set, okay? Um, and your initial seed becomes your trainer ID. Um, it's generated a, uh, the frames after it's generated doesn't necessarily matter, but what does matter is that on the last hex box after this is, um, is when, uh, the secret ID is generated. So, um, what we're going to do is set a timer for 900, um, uh, 900 frames. So a neon timer, you would just put in. Uh, you know, pre-timer zero, target frame, or lag zero, but timer uh, 900. Your frame is generated uh, 249, your your secret ID will be generated 249 frames after your target frame. So, the target frame doesn't matter, I just set it 900 because it's a quick frame you're aiming for. And I'm going to show you how to do it in uh, flow timer as well. So, in short, for flow timer, what you're going to have to do is... Uh, a few 
bits and pieces of calibration. Um, it's going to be 900, that's the frame we're aiming for, times 1,000 times 1 divided by, oh, and I messed it up already, 1 divided by 59.775. So this is your target frame, uh, and you would have to do the usual, like, uh, rounding methods here. And that's how you're going to figure out your frame in a uh, flow timer. So I'm just going to name this one secret ID. And all this means is we're aiming for around, um, we're aiming for around th this 1508. That's uh, the 15068. That basically that's just literally like frame, uh, uh, frame 900. If you look at um, flow timer, it says 15.068. If you look at Eon timer, it's 15.06. It's basically just frame 900. That's all I'm aiming for here. And again, like I said, um, your secret ID is generated uh, pretty much 250 frames after the frame you're aiming for. So we're aiming for 900. It's going to do that. So we're going to start the timer the same time we hit OK at the naming screen. And then we're going to get to the last text box. And uh, I don't choose to name him. I don't think it affects anything, but yeah. So here's the... So that was the last text box. This text box, A World of Dreams, you cannot control anything at all, so don't worry about that. Um, you hit A when your timer finishes beeping on the final screen of like the, the text box before the World of Dreams or whatever. Like I said, 900 frames. So ideally, right, if it's 249 or 250 frames later, hopefully we hit within a few frames. Um, we aimed for, uh, it comes out to like 1149 or 1150 is the frame we should be hitting, or 1151 even. Okay, so next thing we got to do is figure out our initial seed. So our, D, our ID is 55626. So what we do is uh, open up the calculator and switch it to uh, programmer mode. Um, make sure it's set to decimal and set it to five five six two six then we're gonna switch it to hex mode and this is our initial C so we're gonna right click and we're gonna copy this okay so now we're gonna do a little bit of setup but um, before we do the setup we can go over to the starter so the starter is partially how we're gonna figure out our secret ID this whole process is sort of intertwined together So do the normal intro bit. Nothing here matters, and you're going to be able to save after this, uh, after this grass thing here. So what we're going to be doing is what I would refer to as an educated guess for your secret ID, and that's how this methodology works. We're going to have basically five potential secret IDs we could have hit, and we're going to try and aim for them. So, go and save in front of the starter you want. I want Bulbasaur. I like Squirter a lot too, but... Oops, I have to save the game. There's already a save file. So save the game. And just leave it there for now, because we have a little bit of setup to do, I would say. So, what we're going to do in the main window of PokeFinder, you're going to go into Tools, and you're going to click Researcher. This is pretty much where I got everything from... Uh, uh, Um, Pokemon Trainer Choppy. So this is like a bunch of complicated garbage. Don't worry about it. Set your starting frame to 1140, uh, I would say, is a fair number. Seed is the number we just figured out from our trainer ID. So D94A is the seed. Paste. Uh, over in custom one, we're going to set it to 16-bit high. Type one there. And we're going to hit generate here. And these are all of the potential secret IDs. So ideally we hit one of these secret IDs here uh, from 11. So these are all the potential secret IDs um, that we could, I mean, we could have even, we could have hit early, right? So I would say check like 10 low or 10 high from the, the frame you aimed for, or five low to five high, 10 total um, uh, in the frame you aimed for. And so we'll just start off with checking uh, the frame. 1149 and he here's the thing 
Um, there's a few ways to go about this. Um, I'll explain what Hefe does, and I'll explain the differences for what he does. So Hefe assumes he hit the three, like 1149, 1150, 1151, or 1152. He would assume he hit all of these, and what he what he would do is he would check all of his. Um, so you'd go into the profile manager for um, uh, uh, Poke Finder. You would set the name like Fire Red Vanilla, and you will set the game since Fire Red. Type your TID. We'll go back to Dex. Uh, decimal just to figure that out real quick. Five five six two six six. Hold one sec. Now for your secret ID, what you have to do is plug in the, and you don't technically need a new profile for it. You can just you know whatever. But so let's assume I hit uh, eleven fifty. So three zero zero nine nine. That's that's my profile. I accept that. Blah blah blah. Done. So it said to fire red vanilla. This is my ID, my secret ID. I'll look for the shiny only frames for the starters. So my first shiny frame is five minutes. Um, that sucks. To reset over and over for this, to try and hit this frame, that's very, 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 very sucky. We, uh, uh, so what Hefe would do is not, just basically hope you didn't hit this frame. So look at the next frame and go 18883. So. You would type your seed here. Oh, actually, I, me I messed up a little bit. So this would be the trainer ID. Your seed, you type in your most common seed that you hit here. So my most common seed is C673. That's the most common by far seed I hit. You type that in here, hit generate again. So as you can see, I have a 45 second uh, brave shiny frame here that I could hit for the starters. That's actually super good. Um, so we're going to hope we hit this um, ID. However... You should look at all of these IDs and make sure they all have like kind of low shiny frames. So we're going to hope we hit this one. And if this isn't our ID, then um, uh, uh, then what I will do is I will go down the next one. I would go check this one. However, so let's take a look at this ID. 18883. So type the ID here. 18883. That's it. Generate. Generate. One minute, uh, four seconds, still not very bad. Um, if I didn't hit this, I would check the next one up. So 25092, so let's check that. 25092. So this is a two minute frame. So um, let's say you didn't get either of these two as your frames, like you checked them both, um, and it wasn't either of them. Check this one. Two minutes, you don't feel like waiting two minutes. What you could do is just assume you didn't hit this frame even if you didn't uh, even if you didn't hit it because you just don't want to wait two minutes 40 seconds every time and you could skip to the next one to hope you hit that ID so five four zero 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 you could do that boom again 52 seconds not a bad wait time at all um, and then you could go on and I would probably personally go until about whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> until about one one uh, five five frame I would check all of these until um, uh, I found my frame, and then if you don't find it, you just reset the game and do the whole initial seed finding process like I did here over again. Uh, but now I'm going to uh, reset the game and check to see uh, if I hit this secret ID. Okay, so turn the game off all the way, and we're going to do our usual stick. So we're going to check the first one. Uh, we're going to check 1150 first. So we're going to do. Or 1150. Yeah, yeah. Frame 1150. So 300. And I actually have to pause it again. Okay, so as we can see, my uh, shiny frame for my most common hit seed is uh, Brave 2704, okay? So, uh, in Eon Timer, what you would simply do is set the pre-timer to 35,000, like usual for Fire, Red, and Leaf, Green. Um, you set the lag to 1674, and the target frame, you would just type in the target frame you're aiming for, so 2704, Okay. Again, I'm not using Eon Timer anymore, I'm using Flow Timer, so I'm going to do a little bit of a mini explanation for Flow Timer, okay? So, you would make a new clock, starter, I'll name it starter V for starter vanilla, because that's the profile, and you have to add all of your frame junks, oh, whoops, together. And you also need to know a little bit about um, when the starter is generated. So, the starter is generated uh, 20 frames later so we have to take that into account as well so that means for the delay here 
in uh, PokeFinder, we'll set the delay to 20 because the starter is generated 20 frames later. So bink, this is now our new target frame. Okay. So for flow timer, we have to do figure out what frame we're trying to hit, and it's got to encompass everything. So we're trying to hit frame 2684. So you do that times 1,000 times 1 divided by 59.775. So that's uh, that. That's the frame we are trying to hit. However, you have to add a few things on top of it. You have to add the title screen delay, which is uh, 1674 milliseconds. Then you also have to add the 35,000 uh, um, milliseconds we are waiting for the entire intro to play out, which is the pre-timer for uh, um, uh, which is the pre-timer for fire and leaf green. So this is our total frame that we're aiming for. So we are aiming for 81611. Um, we're rounding down because it's 0.4. I mean, we could do the whole thing that goes up, it goes up, blah, 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 but I'm not. Then you divide that by 35,000. Uh, you put a backslash here for 35,000. Uh, and this is because um, basically the 35,000 here will make it uh, beep at 35,000 and then this. That's pretty much it. And I like six beeps as well, personally. Because the timer did six beeps by default. So, um, now we just try and hit our initial seed. So you start Eon Timer at the same time you boot your game up or start it from the Nintendo DS main screen. And you hold the, um, you wait late, blah, 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 blah. You wait for the entire intro to play out, and um, when the title screen uh, happens, you hit your button to uh, boot up the game when the timer ends or whatever. So wait for the timer to end. And hold the A button. So now I back out. Go here, accept the Pokemon. So this is the the text box where accepting it. Um, oh, oh, where to go? This is the text box where uh, you hit A on it, then the Pokemon is generated. Uh, that's how it works. So I have to wait uh, twenty more seconds. And uh, when I hit A, I'm gonna hope I get the shiny. Now, when I don't get the shiny, we're gonna do some. Uh, Reverse calibration to make sure we uh, figure out what frame I hit. And uh, if I do hit the correct frame, but it is not shiny, that means this is not my secret ID. I gotta wait for green to receive the Charmander. And now we check. So, check your Pokemon. Bulbasaur. So it's jolly, not shiny. So that means we missed the frame. We could be on a wrong seed, so let's uh, let's check everything out here. So we're gonna have to scroll all the way to our shiny frame. So like forty-four seconds. It's coming up. Don't worry. Oh, we passed it, and I found it again. Okay. So first of all, right-click, set target frame. Second of all, uh, set the gender as well to 87.5 uh, to 12.5. Cal Recalculate it again, just to make sure it happens. Okay, so I could have hit this jolly frame if I hit my correct initial seed. It's hard to know, so what you're going to have to do is open up a stat calculator. And uh, do that, so I will do that one second. Alright, so I have Metal Kid stat calc open, I'm doing Bulbasaur. Uh, it's jolly. And it's level 5, so I'll type in its stats here. You're not going to get exact stat readings, obviously. 10, 13, 11. But you get, usually there's a few indicators. So special defense has to be 30 or 31, which is very nice for me. So as we can see, mine doesn't have that. Um, when we can look around for Jolly uh, frames that have that kind of thing. Um, I don't see anything remotely near here that's got that. So what I will do is then check my other common uh, seeds. So let me find that text document that I've got written down somewhere. Okay, so my other common seeds are 
F25 is like one of the more common ones. So, oh, what was my target frame? I already forgot. So, it can't be this one either, despite there being a jolly frame here. Again, the spadef on my Bulbasaur has to be 30 or 31. That's like the key identifier I'm kind of looking for here. Um, so, it looks like it's not this seed. However, I will like just do a little bit of scrolling. Okay, it's probably not. So, we'll look at uh, 76E is another one I hit a lot. Jolly. Again, still not the case. Um, and there's still not to be seen any other ones. For 3F. Again, another jolly. I'm getting lots of jollies, but I'm not seeing the um, frame that I'm hit necessarily close. Um, I can, I'll can. i do a more thorough search in a moment, and I'll show you how that goes. Check that. See another jolly frame, but... I am not quiet, but still nothing, nothing necessarily uh, it. I can even check the other seeds here as well. But I don't seem to see it. Oh, yeah, nope. Close, but no, no cigar. That's actually a really good frame, by the way. That's funny. Um, and A two D eight. So when I check all of my seeds like this and I find nothing, it's a little bit concerning. But luckily, what I can do is I can set a little mini range here. So I'll go back to my main seed. All right again. It's not this jolly one. I know that. I could be. It could be down here. Oh, did I just find it? Wow. <laughs> I was about to say, uh, but I think I might have just found it. Um, and it so HP has to be above 10. Attack has to be above 2. Defense has to be above 22. Or equal to or above. Special attack has to be 10 or above. Speed has to be 10 or above. So it's actually uh, fairly likely I hit this frame. I'm very surprised that I found it uh, already. That's pretty funny. I'm quite early. Um, 2657... Compared to, yeah, I was way, 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 way early. Um, there's a chance this isn't it, but I bet you if I look through all of my other ones, I'm not going to find anything like this. So if you really, really, really want to be sure of what frame you're hitting, what you do is look in the stat calc and set the stat ranges. So it's got to be 10 to 29. It's got to be 2 to 21. 22 to 31. That's a useful one. Uh, 10 to... 29, 30 to 31, and speed has got to be 10 to 29. And so we hit generate, and we got to scroll all the way back down, because it does like this for some reason. So, I mean, this is the only one even remotely close to our target frame. We can check all of our other, um, our other seeds to see what we're getting here. Um, I see no jollies nearby. A lot more of these very this interesting stat for it. Like, so, as you can see in F25, there's nothing. Uh, 76E. Um, again, and you could set it to be jolly. I could have hit this jolly frame, I get, I suppose. Um, but it's very, very early. I was not aiming that early at all. I think it's too early, you know what I mean? You want to look in, around your frame. You can even set the nature to jolly if you're not lazy like I am. So, if I had jolly, it's only this one. Like, no chance, you know what I mean? Uh, um, 5A, D7 nothing uh, uh four three five there's a four three f i always forget regardless it's neither one of those <laughs> so if we go back to uh c six seven oh three this is the target or this is the frame we probably most likely hit um this is the frame we most likely hit and uh, it is way, 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 way earlier than the frame we were aiming for. So, we have to do some calculations. Uh, if you're using Eon Timer, so let's say an Eon Timer I was aiming for... Oh, crap. What's the target frame? Uh, six, so it was two... Oh, Eon Timer. So, if I was an Eon Timer, I'm aiming for 2684. I just type in the frame that I hit instead, which is two... Where is it? Jolly... Here, uh, 2657, so I would just type in 2657 as the frame hit. And your lag has changed. Easy. Now, flow timer is a bit more accurate, so we do have to do some changes here. Um, so, 
We have to figure out how many frames apart this is, so let's go. So it's 27 frames uh, early I was. So I have to add 27 frames um, to this. Because I was early 27 frames, I have to add 27 frames from it. If I was late 27 frames, I would subtract 27 frames. So we just have to do the math on that one. So let's open up our calculator here. I think. So, here we go. So, we're going to add this number to uh, 27 frames. And so this number is basically just our number in milliseconds, uh, our frame number in milliseconds. So um, we're going to add uh, uh, 27, because we're 27 frames apart, right? times 1,000 one more zero. times 1 divided by 59.7275 and it's 452 so we're going to add 452 to this number so plus 452 um, so this is our new uh, initial like starting frame or whatever so yeah, it is 82063 2063 and we just give it a go again with our new calibration. Where's this at? I always lose it for some reason. There we go. So give it a start again. And we don't change the 35,000 because the 35,000 is always the number of amount of time we're waiting for the intro to play out. But like I said, I've talked about that in my Fire Red and Leaf Green, like how to calibrate your seed video, etc. Do the same thing again and we wait um, I don't know I don't know how, that I have too much else to say in terms of how to do this but so basically what you're gonna be doing is attempting to hit your seed and then attempting to hit your frame over and over and over again until you land on what should be your shiny frame and then once you do that you uh, uh, if it's shiny you know your secret ID if it's not shiny you move on to the next secret ID in the list so that's what I'll be doing here and I'll probably do this all the way until I'm successful in hitting the frame here. And if it's not shiny frame, I'll just cut to when I find my secret ID. Um, it is quite tedious, I'll say that much. But um, it's definitely worth it. So let's check my Pokemon. Docile. So I believe that's actually very... No. So, there's no, not really a docile frame near me. Um, and again, we have the disable filter function on, which is very, very nice. Um, but, so we just have to check to see if there's a docile frame on uh, 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 any of my other alternate seats. So, I'll do that now. Okay, so I think I found my frame. I'm fairly confident. Oh, boy. And it's gone. Uh, I'm fairly confident I was two frames uh, late on this docile frame on the seed 76e which is one of my more common seeds um, which is fine um, all that means is I have to just give it another uh, give it another go um, I think two frames tends to be within human error so I actually won't make an adjustment for that you you can if you really want um, and you know, one frame when you're doing when you're not dealing with decimals like this, you could subtract 16 to do one uh, uh, one frame if you really really want. Um, so like for my new calibrate for my new adjustments, when you're only going to adjust a frame or two, the rule is it's um, it's uh, rounded up at 16.74 milliseconds is one frame. So you could take this number, which is my current number, and I could try and go one frame earlier. So 16.74. I'll subtract that. And this would be my new target, and uh, I think I'll give that a go, just to see. Um, the reason you don't want to uh, adjust too many um, is because then you could potentially start undershooting and overshooting and blah, blah, blah. But I don't like to adjust too, too much once I'm within two frames. 
and you can even try half frame adjustments if you really want so like subtracting 8 from that instead of 16 uh, etc um, uh, this time I'll probably cut the everything out until I'm aiming for my target because the video is getting very long okay I feel like if I did hit my seed I was a bit early there so we'll see we'll see how that went Pokemon. It's female. Modest. So let's see. Let's go back to my main seed, assuming I hit that one. Three. No modest females in sight, so let's check uh, my other common seeds, see what's up. A modest female on frame uh, 2683 of F25 seed, so I assume it's that one. Um, you could do your stat calculations if you're uh, still kind of unsure. I'm not going to because I am almost positive this is what I hit. And like I said, we just go again until we hit what we're trying to hit. same modest one. I believe I hit the same exact Bulbasaur. Uh, so we'll probably have to give this another go. Alright, here we go. Oh. Hopefully I got it. Could be this one. Is there a lax on my main seed? There is not. It's actually probably that one, really. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any laxes, like too too many other places. I'll uh, double check that this is it. And uh, yeah, I mean that's that's three frames early. And I'm getting unlucky with everything. It potentially. Some, well, what's your attack? It should be ten with a lax nature. I don't know about that one. Let's see, that seems pretty low to me, if you ask me. Okay, two frames early on 587. Not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, just gotta keep at it. Naive. Um, I remember Naive being on one of the, um, on one of the, the 76 E. I'll have to check the stats, but I think it's pretty likely it's this one. Yeah, luckily enough for me. <laughs> Onward and upward. Uh, 
Okay, so here's the thing about this one. Is I probably hit my seed. However, there's two Braves with really good HP stats immediately back to back from each other. Uh, which super sucks for figuring it out. So we gotta figure out if I was one frame late on the correct seed. Or what? I'm thinking I wasn't one frame late just because the fence being 10 while supposedly having a 29 defense. But uh, we'll see. I'll calc it. Okay, so with my current calc, it's not necessarily possible to figure out uh, which Bulbasaur this is. So what actually you can do is battle this rival to gain an extra level and an extra bit of info on which potential Bulbasaur you've gotten. It'll probably narrow down the range for every single result I have, um, which is really, really nice. So you just have to win the thing and get an actual level up. Um, and I'll pause it when that happens. <laughs> okay. I've leveled up. I'll do my stat calc. 13, 11, 12, 14, 10. So let's see. Wow. That was extremely helpful, actually. So, the attack stat has to be 19, 20, or 21. Um... So, I hit the correct frame, and it's not shiny. So, all that means is what I now do is this secret ID, booty. It's not the secret ID I'm aiming for. Next up, 1883, I'm going to do it all over again. Except I'll probably cut to, the, like, the actual successful attempt. <laughs> um, we could turn it off, because we know we hit the correct frame. Very, very, very helpful there. Oh, and to be very clear really quick, uh, what I mean by cut to the successful attempt is what I'm going to be doing is checking all of these secret IDs, so probably from here, and I might even go a little below if none of the ones up here are it. So, like, I checked this one, I'm going to make this my secret ID, this my secret ID, this my secret ID, this my secret ID, until I find a good shiny, or, a, a, like, the shiny at all, in general, is basically what I mean there. Um, and so I'll, what I'll do is cut to the one that I've, when I've actually found the ID. Okay, so I am up to... Secret ID 5400, and this is the secret ID with this as the shiny frame. Um, that's where I'm at. I'm just going to show me doing the calculations and all of that junk. So, 3100 times. And I'm, keep in mind, you keep the delay and everything all on that between. So, 1000 times 1 divided by 59.5. It's target frame. We have to add uh, sixteen seventy four. You know what? I actually should. Uh, I've been doing this as well. I've been adding this the four fifty two. Four fifty two. Um, and I think it's just the plus. Sorry, this is a separate day, so I've <laughs> taken multiple days to do this. Uh, should be just 35,000 now. So this is my new target frame. Okay, so for the final attempt, I wanted to record the entire thing from the beginning. So you guys can see that's like it's a fully legit thing. Um, I ended up on the SID that I just showed, uh, uh, 54,000. Um, like I said, there's no real way to control it, um, and if I had after 54,000, I probably wouldn't have gone for anything else. This is just the end for it. For me, I would have gone to the maybe 1149. Um, but otherwise, it's, you know, it's too far away. Um, maybe I would have continued to go just to see until which one I eventually had actually hit. Um, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Uh, I know a lot of people really wanted to be able to get a shiny in this game, and now you can. Um, I tried to do my best explaining everything, so if you have any questions, obviously leave them down uh, below in the comments, as usual. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, please consider becoming a member, subscribing, liking, all that junk. Um, and enjoy the many shinies. I know this is a tedious... RNG, but um, it's well worth it, especially if you really, really like Fire Red and Leaf Green, and uh, not only do you get a shiny starter out of it, but you get your secret ID, so you can RNG all the birds and Mewtwo and stuff. And uh, I'll let you sh uh, hear my real live reaction at the end of this. <laughs>
first attempt. Be it. Got wow. Oh, I just want to thank my channel members so much. You guys are amazing. Without this kind of support, I wouldn't be able to put out the videos I do, and I wouldn't be able to stream as frequently. Um, thanks so much. If you want to consider becoming a member, just click the join button underneath this video or uh, at my channel page. Um, it's only $4.99 a month. It really helps me out. Um, I'm extremely uncomfortable doing these kinds of plugs, but I'm doing it anyway because the money helps. And uh, if you can't or don't want to, don't feel bad. I'm just asking because, yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. You're all amazing. Uh, see you next video.